What's going on everybody and welcome back to Comic Breakdown. In this video we are jumping into Night Terrors Robin issue number 2. And what we had seen out of this issue so far is Jason Todd and Tim Drake. Two of our Robins finding themselves having a shared nightmare but also individual nightmares on their own. This isn't necessarily common when it comes to this whole insomnia taking over thing, but there are a select few individuals that have had this shared psychosis. But throughout this, we have seen both Tim Drake and Jason Todd. They have been struggling with their deepest thoughts, their biggest regrets, all of their doubts. This is swallowing them up when the two of them get separated. They don't know if they can keep pressing forward. They know that this place can't be real. This something is going on here. But that doesn't change the fact that their self-doubt is very real. And if they're gonna make it out of this nightmare, they have to remember who they are. They have to remember what they are. Because they are Robin. Now, make sure you guys have subscribed to the channel. Make sure that you like this video. And with that being said, Let's dive into this breakdown. Alright gang, so we pick up with Tim Drake. Sitting on his childhood bed thinking to himself that this is not real. That it can't be real. Tears coming down his face. He doesn't know what to do or where to go. This is when he hears the voice of Jason Todd. He lets Jason know that he can hear him. Asking if he is okay right now, he is in a predicament of his own. Hopping over to his own personal nightmare. Fighting off dozens and dozens and dozens of versions of the Red Hood. The original Red Hood. And in the classic Jason style, he says to him, Of all the people in our little family, did you ever guess that the two of us would end up dying together? Because at this point, Jason is understanding that this is probably over for them. That they are done. And Tim thinking to himself that maybe he's right. Maybe this is all over. This is where Insomnia appears. Because this is exactly what Insomnia wanted to hear. He wanted the heroes to feel desperate. To be at the very bottom of the barrel. Bringing them both to their lowest. Waiting for them to beg for death. And then eventually granting that death, but slowly. With Tim Drake thinking that that is it then. That's the story of Tim Drake, the Robin who wasn't good enough. As the confines of this whole place begin to break down, we see them floating in the void. With Tim floating on his bed and Jason floating on a little bit of rock. They have gotten to a place where they can now hear each other and see each other in a much better way. And Jason thinks to himself that he just wanted somebody, anybody that he might be able to count on. The Robin that's a failure is going to die alongside the Robin who thinks he is a failure. This is when Tim Drake lets him know that no one, and he means no one, thinks that he is a failure. Of course, Jason does think this. But Tim tells him that you don't know Jack Squat. That you didn't fail, Batman failed you. Your mother failed you. You did what you were all trained to do. You were trained to survive. But Jason sees it as him becoming a monster, in killing people, being perpetually alone. But Tim reminds him that you are never alone. Just because you pushed us all away doesn't mean we gave up on you. That you might have a lot to atone for, but we all do. That you are more than your failures. And that Tim Drake is always there if you need him. And Jason says, okay, if we're gonna play this game, let's say that you're right about me. And if you are, that means that you are wrong about yourself. Because the truth is, you're just like Batman. You think you can save everybody, but you can't. And this is something that you should not put on yourself. You may not have chosen to be Batman, you may have demanded it. And thank God that you did. Because you were one of the best to ever do it. You were chosen, but you chose yourself. You're not gonna be able to save everyone, but you'll want to. You'll never stop trying, and that is what counts. Now that they have both agreed that they're not gonna give up just yet, the two of them have to put their heads together and figure out how they're getting out of here. The first step to doing so is defeating themselves. This is where Tim Drake goes to face his nightmare. His father trying to drag him down, calling him a pretend hero, saying that there are others that do it so much better than you, like Dick, Barbara, Stephanie, all of them are better than you as Robin. 
but this time, our Robin is able to fight through it. He defeats his own father. While Jason Todd, he starts cracking the skulls of all the Red Hoods. But he comes to the understanding that the Nightmare wants him to do this. This is where he throws down his guns. He's taking a different approach. He sits down on the ground and he waits for backup to arrive. Calling out to Tim Drake, letting him know that he needs his help. And though the Nightmares, they try to taunt him. They try to say to pick up your guns and come fight me. He refuses to move. And over and over and over again, we see that he is getting plummeled. Crowbars across the face. Just getting smashed to bits. And that is where we have the arrival of Tim Drake. Our two Robins now back together. They go in and lay the smack down on these nightmares. Together, united as one, this doesn't take them long to beat the living heck out of them. And in defeating their nightmares, this is where everything shatters. It shatters and they wake up finding themselves in a rather bad spot but believing that this could have been a lot worse. Bruised and battered, mentally fried on the inside, but their night has only just begun because there is still a big mess to clean up. Jason knows that somebody out there probably needs a beatdown. He probably won't be able to do it himself. Assuming that he was really in that dream, he's asking Tim Drake if he is ready to make good on the promise to always be there for Jason Todd. This is where we see Tim Drake on his motorcycle, letting him know that he always meant that, and he is on his way. And that will be the end of this issue. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Definitely a great issue, especially for the character growth of both these Robins. Both of them have been struggling as of late. Jason Todd really having trouble pinpointing his identity, figuring out who he is, what he represents, and what he wants to do in this life. And Tem Drake kind of on the same path, kind of trying to find his own footing away from the Bat family, away from Batman. But both these Robins have one thing in common more than anything self-doubt. Always wondering if they are not good enough, if they're not living up to Batman's legacy, wondering if they are not living up to the Robin mantle, and if they let it, this self-doubt could swallow them up and spit them out. But they are more than understanding that together they are stronger. That is what makes the Bat family so great. They have each other's backs. No matter what, no matter the situation, they are there for one another. Whether one of them needs a good beatdown or one of them simply needs a hand to get up off the ground, the Bat family is there for them. They are there for each other. And one day without Batman, the day that he passes on and is no longer around, they are gonna need these family connections more than ever. But more than anything, it also ensures that they don't go down the wrong path. Jason Todd was really toying with that line for a while, but their family always brings them back into the fold. No matter how far gone they are, no matter how lost they become, they are brothers and sisters, and Robins always stick together. So let me know your thoughts, let me know your theories, if you would like to get completely caught up on everything that is going on with Night Terrors. Be sure to check out the link in my description as well as the top of this video. It will get you completely caught up on everything going on with this series. If you would like to support the channel, you can always do so by joining the channel membership. Much like Patreon, having multiple different tiers, from $1 to $50, from loyalty badges to comics every single month. Not only are you helping out the channel tremendously, but you are getting tons of perks in the process. If you are unable to do this, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel, like this video, hit that notification bell, and with that being said, until the next breakdown.